Hey everybody and welcome back and in this video we're going to use variables which we discussed in the last video and we're going to introduce loops and we're going to use those to create a really really simple player clock so I'm going to remove a lot of this code from our existing project I'm going to leave variables in there for a minute because that's actually quite useful I'm going to remove all of that code now we're going to have a clock that displays hours, minutes, and seconds. So what we need to do is create three variables. Hours, minutes, seconds. So we need to say hours equals zero, minutes equals zero, seconds equals zero. So we're going to start our game, we're going to call the variables block of code, which defines these three variables, and then we're going to go back to here, but at the moment it doesn't do anything. So what we need to do is we need to create a series of loops. First thing we need to do is, oh, I need to set a game running variable as well. And we're going to say equals true like so and the reason we do that is that we need to create a kind of overlapping and overarching uh, loop so we'll say while game running so then we're using our boolean expression we're saying the game running is true and we're saying while game running while this condition is true while this variable can is true whatever happens within this block of code here just keep doing it, keep going round and round and round. Now obviously we don't want to just keep running like at crazy speed because Rempi will have a hissy fit and it will think that it's in an infinite loop. So we do need to have a, uh, a block of text in there. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to display our hours, minutes and seconds. So hours, colon, minutes colon seconds colon so now that's not an infinite loop there is pausing inside it so it should be fine so now what we need to do is we need to add to the seconds so opening the variable seconds plus equals one so now what will happen is if we run this bit of code, every time we click, seconds will go up. Now if I keep clicking, we're going to notice very quickly that we get to a point where it's gone over 60 seconds. So now we need to implement some code which says what to happen when we get to 59 seconds. So if we're going to come here, we're going to use an if statement. Now we don't need to use a pound sign for the start of this because we've already said if and Rempi knows it's now looking for a variable. So if seconds is equal to the same as 60 because we're coming to 59 so we go to there we now need to say seconds equals zero again reset it to zero and we need to say minutes plus equals one so now if we run that And if we continue clicking until we get to 58 seconds. So we should be able to click it one more time and then it should reset to zero. So 59 seconds, boom. Now we're at minutes one and we've reset the seconds to zero. So that was how that will work. But now obviously we know that eventually this is going to get to 60 minutes and it needs to change to one hour and reset that back to zero. So we need to do the same thing if minutes 
is equal to 60. We need to set hours plus equals one. Oops, like that, and then set minutes equals zero. And then that will keep running basically until you click otherwise. So if you, I'm not going to demonstrate that because it would take a long time. But as you can see, what's going to happen is when minutes gets to 59, when it ticks over to 60, it'll get reset back to zero and hours will be incremented by one. But what we need to do now is that even as a 24 hour clock, we need to make sure that it doesn't tick over 24. So what we now need to say is if hours equals 24 hours equals zero. So it'll keep ticking up until it gets to 23, 59, 59, and then when you go over to midnight, it'll go bang back to zero, 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 which is exactly what we want. And that's it. That's really it. That's all there is to it. If you wanted to create a really basic clock, which requires the player to click to increment each second, that's all you would need to do. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.